Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to World of Horror. Um, today we're on, uh, we're on Bloodlord. This is the, uh, this is the episode for March 31st, uh, 2021. Yeah. Man, imagine, like, something that kind of hasn't really escaped me that I think about from time to time, is how every video is a little time capsule, you know? Because imagine, like, four or five years from now, coming back and looking at this video. Like, imagine all the stuff that's changed. You know, imagine how different everything is, how hopefully better everything is. Um, but with that being said, you know, tomorrow... Tomorrow is, you know what, it's the cursed day. It happens every once in a while. Where, essentially, well, things, you know, it, it's April Fool's tomorrow. I was trying to be a little bit more eloquent but, uh, than that, but admittedly, I am a little bit tired today. Um, let's see what we got here at this old, ye old lighthouse looking. Alright, we've got second enemy. We've got Takahashi. Aiko's dad confirmed, definitely. Trust me on that. <laughs> Source, dude, trust me. Uh, and then we got Charisma, and then finally Strength. So Charisma might be a little sketchy, but, you know, Strength and Dexterity will sort themselves out pretty easily here. Uh, with that being said, let's go back to the house to see if we get any item. We do indeed get the library notes. Now that we don't need them, they show up every single freaking time. Is that right? But uh, Moriko first shot too. You love to see it. We'll we'll take a little bit of uh, reason gain there because we're, we're playing Ico. It doesn't really like it. It doesn't really matter that much. You know what I mean? We we we've played this game enough. To where we kind of get, like, there are some characters you always take that 5 EXP on, and then there are some characters like Aiko, where it's just like, eh. You, you really only need to get fast swimmer, and then you're good. You don't really have to worry about anything else. We'll probably be healthy enough to tank any lighthouse damage, but, uh... Let's see, we got Coma, we got Festival, we got Footage, Ramen, Scissors... Well, you know me, I like to start with a with a good old roads closed. Because I mean, we never we never know when we're going to get roads closed, so we might as well just get it out of the way with first. Uh panic is kind of bad, not going to lie. However, what if we like what 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 will we buy here at the hardware store? Not a lot. Like we could buy the shovel, we could buy the crowbar. But what I actually want to do is I want to try this out. We're going to have to sell the library notes, but that's perfectly fine. Just sell our homework. So this is a little bit weird, but it's got great speed, right? Like 80%, like 80 speed is actually pretty decent because you consider like the baseball or the wooden bats like what, 90 speed? The heavy duty flashlight's like 70? And no, it's like 85 speed, isn't it? I'm, I'm actually drawing a little bit of a blank right now, but essentially the idea here is, yeah, 50% chance to hit because of panic, and then we're going to be dealing with a, um, I mean, we're, we basically have a 60% chance because it's minus 10 from panic and then plus 10 from being level 1. However, it's 5 damage, you know what I mean? And because we have 6 strength, we can, we can do something like this where we're doing a guaranteed 10 damage a turn, and we can... You know, we can, we can get hit here. The whole ridden thing's not gonna heat us for five reason yet. And then, I mean, we can just prep this. And I I think that... I think I've been sleeping on the monkey wrench a little bit too much. I, I think it's a perfectly adequate weapon. Uh, let's see. Regain. I don't want to regain stamina. I want to regain reason. So we'll, we'll do this. And then we'll prep. And we'll send it like that. So it, it's a little bit bad for stamina for two reason, but you know we're playing on Kathaka Tasaru, so we don't like 
There's no scorching sun. There is no eyeball lady. So we don't have to really worry about it. Like, I mean, I know we just lost two stamina there, but that's like, that's the exception, not the rule. But you know, like, every year, like, w like we get into this stupid, like, we're on freaking... Oh, also, the next enemy that we fight is the second enemy. I gotta keep that in, in mind. But, you know, I'm just thinking to, like, oh, well, there's our first cadaver. Uh, how about three more to kill us as a treat? Okay, Cultist Hunter A. Let's write that down. Um, but it's like, April Fools is usually really annoying. Like, unless you just get off the internet for a day, you know what I mean? Like, you're just like, nope, not today. <laughs> not, absolutely not today. Uh, no, that's a 60% chance. That's, and we don't even kill next turn guaranteed. Oh, no, no, no. But, you know, it's like, a April Fool's is one of those things where it's basically kind of what you make of it. Right, like, it, it can be super insufferable sometimes, especially, like, the internet. Like, I'm basically just not gonna go on, uh, I, I'm not gonna go on anything tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna, like, cut out all of my internet usage tomorrow, um, and just, like, maybe listen to a podcast. Like, I got a couple podcasts on the back burner that I haven't, uh, oof. Uh, I got a couple podcasts on the back burner that I haven't, uh, finished listening to yet. So that, that could be pretty fun. How do we only have 36 EXP, by the way? Like, what the heck's happening here? Uh, anyways. Pro oh, not having the compass. That's, that's right. We would be very happy if we had the compass. But we don't, so... Thankfully, the dog didn't go away, so we'll see if we can't, uh... We'll see if we can't, uh, get the compass on Mystery 2. I'm trying to, like, I'm, like, thinking back, I'm trying to remember, like, the most annoying, um, I'm trying to remember, like, the most annoying, this is a short mystery, so we'll do it, we'll just buy the compass and get out, but, branded does kind of suck, though, like, we don't want to, we, we don't want to go back, we don't want to wait for our Amazon, for our dog prime order to come in, you know what I'm saying, we just want to get in, get out, thank God for the dexterity check. We, we do want to level up strength, though. Like, uh, ideally, we get fast swimmer and then strength. Uh, so, basically, we want fast swimmer, two points into strength, two points into charisma? Okay, so we do have fear festival, so we'll take outdoorsman. I don't care about... Uh, Kitha we have Kathakataseru, so running shoes is pointless. Art knowledge... Yeah. You know, it's like, it, it's fine, we are going to school scissors, so it could come in handy, but I'm not particularly worried about plus one perception. Like, the only reason we would ever want this is if we think we're going to the other world, and we think we're gonna go to the desert. Which, you know, it's it's a one in three. There's three other world locations you could go to, so... You could make, you could make a, a definite argument for art knowledge, but I think it's sort of in the same boat as, uh, as Outdoorsman. But I think Outdoorsman is more likely to give us value. Because we seem to get Moriko a lot. So we'll just take Outdoorsman and then Strength, and we'll be on our way. So we should, I mean, like, not having the compass for the first mystery can be pretty rough, but we're in a, we're in, we're kind of decent spot. We can forget... Do remember that Mind Drain requires three reason, and it does, uh, like... That, it, that's gotten us killed before. We had three reason and we casted Mind Drain and we just died. That was a shame. Never casted it again after that point. So we don't have Fast Swimmer, but we actually... We're actually pretty close. If we had two more points into Strength, we would be... Um, and I do r realize that we are getting... We're probably going to get the, the hoodie, right? And so, that's actually gonna make it to where we could brace prep and then strong attack, which would be pretty nice, but, uh... We could actually do this. So it's an 80% chance we'll definitely take it. Because then, what that means is that we can just guarantee Stockchon's dead this round. That's pretty great. 
I actually... I, I've been wanting to do more Monkey Wrench games, and I think that Ico is kind of like... I mean, Ico's weird, right? Because Ico can almost make anything work. Like, I remember some of the best success that I had when I first started playing was back when Carpenter Hammer was a dexterity weapon. You would just use that... Oof. You just, uh, you just use that... And, like, even though Carpenter Hammer is garbage, Aiko would still dominate the game. Because she's Aiko, you know what I'm saying? She She's probably the easiest character to play, and the... I don't know why I did that, I know there's nothing in there. But she's the easiest character to play, and she's probably one of the strongest characters. Like, I don't think Aiko is the strongest character in the game. I think on average she is, though. Right? Because I kind of look at it like this. The character who has the most potential is Mizuki, and then the second most potential is Moriko, and then the third most potential is probably Aiko. Uh, but you can obviously, like, throw modifiers into the mix, but I think that even considering all that, like, I think that Mizuki, because she's currently bugged, I think that Mizuki is the most powerful character in the game, because she can get... Well, technically it's her perks that are bugged, but she's the only character who can consistently because she is, she starts with those perks in her perk deck, uh, she's the only character who can consistently, well, I guess for lack of a better word, um, scale infinitely. Like, of course, it's not consistent, because you have to, you know, get, um, what is it called, occult signs? You have to get occult signs, and then you have to get flesh regrowth. Uh, or some sort of spell that you can cast a lot. Like, Flesh Regrowth is the spell that you can cast infinitely. Uh, so, I remember one run that we had, episode number something goddess. Uh, we got Flesh Regrowth, and then we got Memory Extract. And we got Occult Signs on Mizuki. And we leveled her up until she was level 69, because I am a mature adult, definitely. And that was... Let's see what we got here. So the first two things are bows. So because I seem to get screwed over when I don't do this, we're going to put the other three as claps when we get there. But yeah, it's like... Mizuki has the highest potential. I, I think that even if you fixed Mizuki's... Uh, even if you fixed Occult Signs, or if you fixed Flesh Regrowth, so Occult Signs wouldn't work like that, I still think Mizuki has the highest potential because she, like, Charisma is a terrible stat, but if you play around it, and, you know, Mizuki is guaranteed to get three students at the start of the game, and so if you stack it correctly, you can get three students, if you're lucky, you can get Kana, and if you're super lucky, you can have Fear Festival backing you up, you can potentially get, like, about ten, you, you could probably realistically get about maybe eight allies, nine allies, depending on how good your run is going and how much you can sacrifice at Fear Festival. And then, of course, fame just will, like, theoretically infinitely scale with that. I, d I don't know the exact numbers on, like, how, uh, how it scales with everything else. But what I can tell you is that when you get a lot of allies going as Mizuki, you, you can't be stopped, right? Like, you're, you're not gonna be... Here's the thing, this doesn't get us lethal. Actually, hold on, it, act it actually does if we hit and then throw. So we can just throw the, the branch from Stock Chan, and then we can just prep, slam, prep, slam. Yeah, I think the, I, I think the monkey wrench is like a, a budget katana that you can buy, which is kind of terrifying, to be honest with you. Uh, what star was it? Oh, it was the it was the other star, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it doesn't matter in timeline B, but it's fun. It, it's good uh, m muscle memory practice. So that's technically a stamina cadaver because we didn't take uh, art knowledge. But what is it? It's like plus one funds if you get it right. I'd rather have plus ten exp. At least in our certain circumstance. So we're gonna brace for impact. Uh, pretty much 100% of the time. Uh, let's see. So this is two, three, four, five. So this 
technically works, right? Because it's everything after five. I'm gonna look stupid if it's five. Okay, thank God. It's everything after five that gets canceled. So we can desperation this. So this is, we'd have to do a 70% chance. So instead, let's just throw the wooden bat. I, I, because I don't, I don't like that at all. So we'll desperation, prep, and then we're not on a Thutu, right? We don't have any source of bonus damage, so this should literally just be 14. I mean, even if it's not 14, it doesn't matter. It's 15. Why is it 15? Why is it 15? It was 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. We don't have... Yeah, I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. Like, I know the Fire Axe, like, does way more uh, strong attack damage. But... Like, what the heck? <laughs> Why does it do... I... Is it the monkey? No, the monkey wrench doesn't... It's still flat. Ah, who cares? Maybe it doesn't round up. I know it doesn't round up. Anyways, it, the first two combinations per the friend's diary was bow bow. So we'll just leave everything else as claps, and then let me grab my memory text. And we'll, we'll write here. So it is bow. It is... Oh my god. It is bow, 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 clap. Okay. Unfortunate. However, it, it, it's mostly fine. So there's Fast Swimmer and there's Discipline. We like both of these a lot. Um, but for the sake of science, I'm going to pick Fast Swimmer. Because the safe play and probably the best play is to take Discipline. But we're going to take Fast Swimmer. And we're going to take Plus Strength. Because we're going we're gonna to go to Fear Festival. We'll be fine. Third Mystery Fear Festival, we'll get hot water here. We don't have any injuries, and we have three spells in our back pocket, so we can... We'll Onsen twice, and then just relax for a bit once. Because we do have spells that we're probably never going to cast, and so we can kind of... Uh... We, we, we can kind of have a little leeway here, so we'll go up to 9-5 for now. And so we have, what is it, three more? No, four more, sorry. We can we can do whatever we want four more times. We do have Outdoorsman, so we could get lucky. Well, that's fine. I, I, we, we're doing so good on Doom right now. Like, our, our Doom is honestly incredible, so we're, we're perfectly happy with this. Absolutely not, under no circumstance uh, will, I, will I do that. If we could get an ally that's Stamina, I'd like that. But Asato is not really worth it, either. I think we should own some. Like, we should... We have one more uh, village investigation. So we will probably... We'll definitely own some, so we can go back up to, to five, hopefully. Okay, that, that's... I will take three 70% chances at 15 damage with Brace for Impact. That's, that's actually kind of disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, um... Well, we brace for impact again, because I don't think we're gonna kill. Right, because the mo- We can actually guarantee 14 damage, that's amazing. So we'll, we'll brace for impact, and then we can... Jesus Christ. We can brace for impact and do a guaranteed 10 damage. That's... Kinda... Kinda frightening, not gonna lie. So what we'll do is we will regain one reason, so we'll take two stamina here, and then we'll just do this so he's dead. So we're not in desperation range, but that's probably fine. We'll take 3% doom here, I don't care at all. We are at 46% doom on the fourth mystery. We're probably going to take 6% more doom from the fight, but apparently running away is 5% doom, so... I, I'm less inclined, like even with Vital Clue, like the game would have to dab on me with like three, two Vital Clues for me to care. Like I, I think we'll be fine. Like it is true, we don't have any, we don't have Akamanto waiting in the wings, so. I, I, I think we're, we're doing, we're doing great, so. Oh, ha! <laughs> We're only gonna take, we're only gonna take 3% doom, that's hilarious. Oh my god. We're only gonna take 3% doom. 
Th th this is more beneficial. I, I can't believe that running away gives you doom. Run like a horrible coward. I, I can't believe it gives you doom. Because doing this gives you one of the best items in the game. Right? So it's like... I I'm honestly shocked that uh, getting ending A is a detriment to your run. Roads closed? Who cares? We already did both of the roads closed mysteries. That was the last roads closed mystery. Um... I, I mean, do we have Fetid Fumes? Like, Fetid Fumes kind of dabs on, like, Hot Bath. Like, I don't know if we need it, but it kind of is, like, it kind of locks the run. You know what I mean? So, hold on, let me get the memory text back up, because I have it underneath World of Horror right now. I should have it on my second monitor, so I can look at it constantly. Um, so, Nala, so, Charisma... So, Dexterity, Charisma, and Strength. So, we don't have leadership here. We might level up again? It's actually really weird being at level 4 almost about to beat the game. We might not even get to level 5 if we don't fight that many enemies. Because what do we have left? Uh, coma? Yeah, there's not really a lot of enemies in the, in the hospital. I mean, there's a few, but... Hmm... I mean, we, we, we can probably get there. But, I mean, with Hot Bath, it doesn't really... We don't have to play around the lighthouse with Hot Bath. Although I will say that uh, having the not having contaminated water up until the end of the game is pretty great. So let's see. Do we, do we want to bother with the village? I don't think we do. Like, I, I don't think we care. We're not going to fight the boss. So we might as well just never go to the village. And plus that's 4% doom from roads closed, isn't it? And cast one spell for free, right? Yes, okay, cool. Yeah, well, we just won't go to the village. Like there, like there's no, like we do have Takahashi. Like, mind you, we do have Takahashi. But we're gonna have, like, a 90% hit chance on him anyways. Because cause what do we have right now? We have a... Yeah, we have a 90% hit chance because of panic. And actually, wait, that'll mean that we have... Maybe an 80% chance to hit? I, I don't actually remember what Takahashi's uh, power level is, so I, I can't tell you for sure. Uh, Bite. We definitely want to get that taken care of. Pretty much immediately. I mean, it gives us an excuse to get painkillers for free. But I just hate, potentially, like, Bite, I hate Bite so much. Because sometimes it just does nothing. And then other times, minus one dexterity, minus one perception. It's truly awful. Uh, like, like, it's probably one of the most annoying ones. Like, it's not like tiny cuts, where it's just, like, more annoying than anything else. Okay, um... We actually might be able to one-round KO here. We have a very good chance of doing it. And because we have Hot Bath, I feel like even if we miss, we're fine. Like, we don't want to miss, obviously, but if we did... Yeah, we're done. See? All right. Yeah, that, that was a, a pretty easy victory, I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, we picked Ico. What were, what were we expecting? Uh, it's just sort of like... It's just normal when you're playing as Ico. I mean, let's go even further beyond for the meme. 11 strength. So, you know, I, I meant to, like, give you an anecdote about Loop Hero, but I feel like time just flew by. I've been playing... I finally beat Chapter 3 on Loop Hero. I've played in... Like, it's kind of cool. It has, like, a how long you've spent doing the loops and how long you've spent in the camp. So I've spent about, like, 28, 29 hours doing the loops. And I finally got through Chapter 3. And I have to... <laughs> I love the I love the chapter 3 boss so much like just personality wise and I, I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it yet but I just I, I just love the dialogue leading up to the fight it's so good and I mean I also like immediately once I got back to the base I used the encyclopedias to unlock that enemy's lore and I oh my god I love the lore so much it's so good. But, uh... 
Anyways, nothing personnel, kiddo. Teleports behind you. Uh, yeet. The summary. Okay. If we if we win, we win. We we didn't. You feeling lucky, punk? Evidently, Takahashi-san was not feeling lucky. Or, Takashi-san was not feeling lucky. He did dodge quite a few of my attacks, but it, it didn't matter. Like, even if we... Like, like I, I at this point, I probably shouldn't have to tell you that our victory was pretty... Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what are you doing here, Athiolazath? I went to the wrong goddamn lighthouse again. Aw, oh, jeez. Alright, get it out of here. <laughs> oh, that's that's like one of the best glitches. It's just like, oh, oops, different god. Oh, man, I really wish there was another... I, I, I really wish there was a feature where you could enable all the gods or multiple gods. Like, just be like... Like, how cool would that be? Like, you have just every god enabled at once? Because they're they're not just modifiers for your run. They give you different events as well. Um, you know, I'm just dreaming of the day when the gods have, like, their own enemies as well. Like, actually, when we get custom enemies, it would be really cool to see if somebody would make, like, an Ifutu pack or, like, a Goizo pack or something. And it would have, like cultists right like for hunted by the cult and it would be like oh these are the like the flame cultists you know they do a lot of like stamina damage and they like fire themselves up so that they, it, it would be sort of like the obsessed man or like the aspiring model where they get more damage as the round progresses as the game progresses or i should say the fight progresses not not the game in general but i i just you know my my one complaint with when I find a great video game, the one complaint that I have is I want more of it. And I think that, I mean, that's that's the boat that I'm in with, like, Loop Hero, that's the boat that I'm in with World of Horror, right? Like, when I beat the, like, the, the final boss or whatever for Loop Hero, uh, or when I like fully upgrade the town like once I unlock all the like once I unlock all the uh, encyclopedia entries once I unlock all the buildings and upgrade them and once I get all the items and once I beat the final boss which I haven't even attempted the next chapter yet by the way I just went to record this episode um but yeah it's like w once I beat the game and I get all the achievements and stuff, because it doesn't look like it's going to be hard to get all the achievements. Like, there are some ones that are, like, a little bit tedious to do, but... M when I look at a game, and most of the achievements are things that I would do anyways, or if it's a game like World of Horror, where it's like, well, what else am I going to do? Um, you know, it's like, that's... Like, I'll 100% it. I don't normally 100% games. With something like Loop Hero, it feels like you kind of have to 100% it to get, like... Not necessarily your money's worth, but for me to get my money's worth. Well, okay, I've already gotten my money's worth out of Loop Hero. What I'm trying to say is, like... I feel like... How the game just exists... Is that... It would sort of... Encourage me to 100% it, because... I, I want more, right? It, like, take Risk of Rain 2, for example. I'm not gonna 100% Risk of Rain 2 because I really like to play, I don't know, the captain or whatever. You know, like, I, I really like playing all the characters. I'm gonna 100% Risk of Rain 2 because I've played it for 200 hours, and the only thing that I, I can do is do the achievements because I have nothing else new to do at that point. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like, that's basically what I'm just trying to say. Is like, I want more things in my favorite games, and I want more variety as well. So, I kind of am dreaming of a day. And mods can take care of a lot of that. So, I'm kind of dreaming of a day when we've got, like, whether it's official or just a mod... And it's like, oh, you know, we've got, like, the Athutu enemy pack, or we've got the Goizo enemy pack, or, 
you know, something like that. Just to make the old gods feel a little more substantial. Because when I'm picking, when I'm picking a Thutu, you know what I'm saying? I'm picking plus one damage for myself and all enemies, and then I'm picking Scorch Sun. Like, that, that's pretty much the only thing that registers when I pick a Thutu. Um, when, like, there's a couple of other ones, like that event that gives you a Thutu flame if you pass it, but... When you're picking Goizo, what are you, what are you picking Goizo for? 5%, uh, plus 2 Doom when you rest, uh, from your normal plus 3, so it's plus 5. Um, and then... You're picking it for, like, oh, you know, the lady running out around with her eyes torn out. You know, th those are the two things that you're kind of thinking about for Goizo. When you're thinking about that Katasaru, you're like, okay, am I going to be buying some pocket knives? Am I going to be, like, w what do I got going on here? Am I going to know the ghost combination from School Scissors? Or what? You know, like, what what's going to be the, the consequence of Kathakatasar is, like, ghosts, pretty much. <laughs> so, I guess what I'm just saying is, like, and when you pick Yagathag, it's like, do you want to be bought? Like, Yagathag is probably, and I mean, this isn't very helpful because I don't like Yagathag, but Yagathag is probably the most impactful old one, because it actually feels like there's an eldritch being that's waking up and, like, bossing you around, I guess, you know? Because if Yagathag gets furious, then Yagathag's gonna wake up faster, which makes the game harder because of impending doom and all that stuff, you know what I mean? And so, like, either you follow Yagathag's orders when he's, like, not here, or at 100% doom, you're gonna be forced to follow Yagathag's orders. Uh, which I think is really cool. So, and I mean, obviously you get the, the Doom screen, but you you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. But, um, yeah, it's just like, I, I just feel like, for the most part, that, I mean, Yagathag is, like, again, it's not helpful, because Yagathag is my least favorite god, but... He's, it's the, it's the god that feels most like fighting an Eldritch god. Like, when I'm picking Yagathag, I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to change my gameplay up. You know, and so... I guess that, I guess that what I'm saying is I want more variety. Like, when you pick a Thirtu, I want to have to worry about, like, flaming cultists of pain uh, hunting me down... And that sort of thing. When I'm when I'm picking Goizo, I'm like, oh, there's gonna be a bunch of mirror events that, you know, maybe there's a, a point-and-click style thing where you have, like, a mirror that you have to smash by clicking your screen or whatever. You know, just, just give me something that uh, makes it like, all right, I'm picking a god, and that god's gonna change how I play the game. You know, just, just give me something. And it, it's understandable if something like Goizo or Athyelizath is more simple than the other gods because it's like they're the default unlocked gods. But as more and more gods get added to the game, and as we get custom gods, I want to see more and more uh, engaging things, I guess is how I should put it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is Web Weaver. I will see you on the next episode of World of Horror. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. See you later. Bye.